I'm your host, Bill Hader. Our last film tonight is a controversial one from 1973. It's writer and director Terrence Malick's Badlands, starring Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. It's a road movie that takes in the romance and the allure of two lovers on the run, but with the addition of grim reality. The movie is based on the infamous crime spree committed in 1958 by a man named Charles Starkweather. He killed 11 people and remained at large with his girlfriend, Carol Ann Fugate, in the Midwest for several weeks. In this movie, the characters' names are changed and some of the details have been altered. But the story is pretty much as it happened. The movie plays like a lovers on the run type story, like you only live once or they live by night. But as a road movie from the early 1970s, it shows two restless youths trying to find meaning in their lives by committing terrible crimes. Badlands brought a lot of attention to its two leads, Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek, but most of the attention went to its young director, Terrence Malick, who had never directed a feature film before. Since this stunning debut, Malick remains one of the most intriguing and elusive filmmakers. He's very rarely photographed, in fact. But if you want to know what he looks like, about an hour into this film, Malick shows up as an architect in a scene with Martin Sheen. So here it is, also starring Warren Oates, Badlands. And no doubt about it, Badlands has had a tremendous effect on many films, most notably 1993's True Romance. Screenwriter Quentin Tarantino based the opening narration on Badlands, and the composer of True Romance, Hans Zimmer, used the musical piece we hear in Badlands, Musica Poetica. 